Before we jump in, I want to say a quick little thank you to EA Game Changers and Codemasters. Thank you for the early access. We're about to check out the first two chapters of Breaking Point. It basically turns the F1 career mode into a Netflix series. We take control of Aidan Jackson in 2019 as he climbs the ranks and becomes, hopefully, a world champion. But there's a few nemesis, some targets along the way. Devon Butler being one of them, of course. He returns. Yeah, this is going to be quite the adventure. Let me know in the comments section below. Leave a like on the video if you guys want me to do a full Breaking Point video series on the channel. Let me know in the comments. Let me know with the like button. And let's begin. Let's begin the adventure. Can Aiden Jackson become the next world champion? I hope so. Whew. Normal, challenging, and hard. We have three difficulty options. I'm going to go for in the middle. Hopefully, I can increase it if it's a little bit too easy um, as we progress. And there is five options. This is your F1 team of choice. I'm curious to see if we eventually land in the top team. The top five teams, potentially, at some point. Maybe we, we do a transfer. I don't know. I'm just guessing. I've got no idea. Avatari, Aston Martin, got the Alpha team as well, of course, the Haas team, and the Williams team. I don't know what to go for. I feel like the Avatari team might be the obvious choice. Love the livery, love the rims there as well. I might go for... I think it's between Alpha for me and Aston Martin. Does begin, though. Um, it has to be said, it will be racing point at first, which is a little bit confusing. This starts in the 2020 season. You're a new rookie. I'm going for Aston Martin. Yeah, I'm doing it. I can't resist that green. I cannot resist. Yeah, Aston Martin. That's, that's the way I'm going right now. Look at it! Every driver is being so aggressive! Check it out! They'll all be feeling the pressure right now. None more so than young Aiden Jackson from Carlin. That's right. Rumors from the paddock talk about a possible future for Jackson in Formula 1. And with only a few laps to go, this is still anyone's race. The atmosphere here is electric, and we couldn't have asked for a better finish to the F2 season here in Abu Dhabi. Man, those cinematics were incredible. Okay, Aiden, you're oh. doing great. Keep focused. You know what to do. Copy that. Oh, and he talks as well. Very nice. Nice touch. Just set a purple lap. So the F2 series is a feeder series for F1. Oh, okay. Finish first to win the F2 championship. Okay, no pressure. Okay. Uh, we have two more laps. Is that okay then? Ah, Latifi's still in it. Of course, the 2019 season. So he eventually gets the uh, the Williams drive. Dive up the inside. Oh, can I make it stick? Got some back one. <laughs> I can't even say that guy's name. Brilliant. Nice Ragan, 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 no. <laughs> I just can't say it. Look at that guy. I mean, he's in 20th place, so he's not having the best day. He's uh, been given the blue flag. Basically, we've been told to get out of the way to not slow me down. Next up, Latifi. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. yeah, these F2 cars are not F1 cars. They don't have the grip, the downfalls you might expect. So it does make it a little bit terrifying. Under traction, under the brakes, on the curbs. Really have to sort of bed in the power a little bit. Slowly closing that gap. Whoa. So badly want to win this race, though. It'd be a really bad start to this series, not winning this. I'm hoping we'd still get the drive, though. I mean, even second place in the championship isn't that bad, is it? Let's be honest. Got to make this move stick. Whoa. Whoa. 
late as possible. Ooh, Latifi, I'm sorry. Second place. Do we have one more lap to go? Oh, no. Is that enough time? This has to be the best lap I've ever done. Uh, choosing the controller, by the way. Uh, no special wheel setup at the moment. That might change, though, potentially, if we do a full series. Well, we can do this. Are we in the DRS zone? We are not. That's unfortunate. Actually, we might be. We may have just creeped into it. Or not. Ah. No DRS. That's unfortunate. How am I going to get this overtake done? Okay, sorry, there's, there's still one more lap after this. Okay, we're fine. Oh, we see that back end. Stepping out. Oh, DRS. I won that first place. You will not stop me. Trying to go around the outside. Whoa! That could have gone really badly wrong. Oh, can't find the space. Man, the car looks so good, though. I'm all over him. Like a rash. Don't you dare close that gap. My nose is there. My wheels are there. We are currently in the position we need to be in. First place. Woo-hoo-hoo! And the back tyre just want to step out all the time. Anytime, anytime I put down the power, they are scary, scary machines. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Not a great last sector there, but it's to be expected. Yeah, I would love to turn this into a full series. Hopefully you guys like it. Um, I used to have a fairly big F1 audience, but... I don't cover it as much these days, to be honest. I do watch it. I watch it every week. I'm a big 44 fan, if that makes sense to you. Well done. I watch it. I, I try to watch at least qualifying in the race every week. Every week is on. I'm, I'm there. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I've been Silverstone three times now. Uh, I've been in Monaco once, which was quite the experience. That was a birthday gift. I know. Very lucky. That was the year uh, Danny Ricciardo won with the dodgy engine that year. I don't think I saw one overtake. <laughs> it's a weird race. It's a very weird race. If we ever come to uh, race it in this particular series, I will be terrified because damage is on. Damage is definitely on. <laughs> and there's no way to overtake in Monaco. You just can't do it. You just can't do it. I believe the um, Abu Dhabi layout has actually changed now. It's changed for this year. I don't know if it's going to be updated in the game. Probably not. Just saw a blue flag. That worried me a little bit. We're fine. The game is not glitched out. Check a flag. This is going to be a massive win. Championship for Mr. Jackson. Great result. Fantastic Woo! work, Aiden. Great drive, mate. Congratulations. World champion. Yes! Yes! Come on! Oh, I feel it. I feel the emotion. Done it. Jackson's done it. Aiden Jackson wins the F2 championship. What a win for Jackson. What a win. And he couldn't have gone to a better driver. A magnificent result. He's already been vocal about his dreams of one day driving for Mercedes in Formula One. Let's just hope the right people are watching today. And here he is, the man of the moment, Aiden Jackson. An amazing race and a fantastic win for this incredible driver. Indeed. After this, I guarantee that Jackson will be the hot topic in more than a few upcoming F1 team meetings. The future's definitely bright for this young driver. Ooh. Hello. Someone at Racing Point was there looking at us. 
Let's see what's going on here. So his dream is to become a Mercedes driver. For obvious reasons, that makes a lot of sense. They're in they're the quickest car right now. I believe if you pick um what was the other choices? Avatari, for example, your dream would be to eventually get to Red Bull. So yeah. I'm in my pink overalls. Aiden. Now you've made the leap to Formula One, no surprise to anyone who's been watching your career. How does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your first race? To be honest with you, Will, it hasn't really quite sunk in yet. The team has given me a fantastic opportunity. It's a once in a lifetime, a dream come true. So to answer your question, I feel like a little kid. I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes, you know? I've even had to pinch myself a couple of times. So, yeah, it, it can be a bit overwhelming. But out on the track, the speed, the noise, even the smell, it's all the same. I just hope my driving is too. And what about Casper Ackerman? Are you intimidated at all having such a seasoned and experienced driver as your first teammate in Formula One? How's that relationship coming along? I've always looked up to Casper as someone to aspire to. Growing up as a kid, his pictures were all over my bedroom walls, you know? The dream was always to be Casper. But, as it turns out, I'll be racing alongside Casper, which is good enough for me. I get to learn from the best. Besides, every legend has to start somewhere, right? Aiden. Just wondering if we can get your reaction to the obvious comparisons that are being made between you and another F1 driver. Much like you, he made the transition from F2 to F1 last season. What do you say to the press here and to your fans who are calling you the new Devon Butler? <laughs> the new Devon Butler. I'm all right with that. Does that mean we can lose the old one? <laughs> You come over well. They like you. I don't know what you were worried about. Thanks. You know, everything's going to be fine out there today. I just know it. Just do what you did in F2. Easy. Thanks, Brian. I won't let you down. Absolutely no pressure. Can you imagine jumping into an F1 car for the first time? The fastest machine on the planet around a lap. Oh, you'd be bricking it, wouldn't you? Oh, anyway. It does feel a bit weird seeing the racing point overalls in an F1 2021 game, but that was my that was my decision. Um, I want to get in those green overalls at some point. Become an Aston Martin driver. I think that's going to be really cool. It's time for F1 2020. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I'm not tricking you, by the way. This is this is the new game. A new season is upon us. After all, it is the start of a brand new F1 season. And 2020 is shaping up to be one for the history books. Of course, last year, the first Grand Prix was actually um, Austria. Austria, of course, not Australia. Aside from the usual on-track drama and passion, this Grand Prix season also marks the 70th anniversary of the very first F1 World Championship at Silverstone, which was sure we won the high points of the year. Of course, a new season means new regulations for the technically minded fans to watch out for, and this year is no exception. Overall, we can't wait to see what the year brings ahead. Oh yes. Uh, about Lewis Hamilton, of course, going for his seventh world title. We know what happens there, of course. Yeah, this is going to be uh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, I've got a phone call. Hello, Brian. Hello. Aiden, are you in your room? Yes. Oh, hey, Brian. Yeah, I'm in my room. Good. Well, have a look around. I hope you like it. Should be everything you need in there. News feeds, social media. Hey, it's hooked up to the lot. Just. Do me a favour, eh? Go on. Make sure you check your emails. I think there's a message in there for you. Okay, okay go ahead. Thanks, Brian. Take a breather. Do what you need to do. 
and I'll see you before the race. Nice no. Time. They put Matty in there. Oh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> That's so cool. I would love to have my tweets in this game. That's pretty cool. Oh, hello, Mum. Hello. Hello, love. How's it going? All right, Ma. Yeah, it's going all right. Just getting ready. I saw your interview. And? You need a haircut. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks, I guess. Thanks, Mum. aside from that... You were great. I'm so proud of you, Aiden. I know, Ma. Thanks. I wish I could be out there with you. This is everything you've worked towards. Yeah, I know, but you'll be at the next one. Just do what you do, and everything will be great. Thanks, Ma. And remember, mirror signal maneuver. And always stick to the speed limit. Great advice. I'm all over it. I know you are, love. I'll speak to you later. Good luck. Bye. What a supportive mum. Ah. At F1 Big Fan. Can't wait to see what Aiden Jackson can do in F1. He smashed it in F2. He did. Devon Butler. Yeah, if you didn't know, he's a bit... Yeah, he's an arse, basically. <laughs> Put it that way. I am sure he'd be great... And it's always good to have another Brit in the mix. Although, he's racing with the big boys now. Makes a good point. So this is the email. Ah, Otmar. So he is the, the team principal. So you've got, got to try and impress him, basically. Impress him to keep your drives. And maybe other opportunities might open up in the future. Who knows? Hey, Aiden. The title says it all. Really pleased to have you with us. Anything you need, just ask Brian. Here's your liaison. Okay, thank you. Looking forward to the season. I'll see you in the briefing room. Okay, got it. Ah, Casper. I noticed you left your paperwork over in the garage, so I handed it to the PA. You can thank me later. And hey, good luck out there today. It's your first race, but let's see what we can do together. Improve the team. Push it in the right direction. Teammates are essential, especially for any teams that are trying to chase the cars in front. Oh, juggles. You can juggle. <laughs> Interesting. Right. To the race. Australia. Australian Grand Prix mid-race. So this is not the start. We're going to be thrown in the deep end. Racing in an F1 car. Straight out of the bat. Nine laps remaining. A solid start, Aiden. Let's try and push it further. Copy that. Uh, where's Casper? He's up ahead. Let's try and bring you two closer together. All right, got it. Let's do that. So he is in 10th. I'm in 14th place. I've got to try and catch him before lap 11. Easy. <sighs> That's not possible, surely. I loved how Aiden's voice was... Yeah, like I'm struggling here. This is my first race. Okay, the gap behind is 2.4 seconds. Got it. Yeah, this is going to be tricky. I'll give it a good go, though. I'll give it a good go. We know this car has potential. Caspers in P10 at the moment. Might have briefly touched the grass there. I'm definitely going to be a little bit rusty, but hopefully as the laps go on, we get faster and faster. Oh, DRS is open. Ooh. We can do this. Overtake available if I need it. Gonna break late. Don't close in on me. Oh. Yes. Is that Russell next? Russell's doing well. Nice work. That brings you up the place. <laughs> Sometimes I just stop breathing in this game. It's so intense. 12th place. Up next. She's overtake as well. And DRS. Whoa! Oh, I wasn't sure I was going to slow down in time there. Casper is three places ahead of you right now. Trying to find some space. So this is a great overtaking but oh, Overtaking spot. That's what I was going to say there. But I made it work. 
Who's that next? Oh, it's Butler next. Oh, no. Really? Remember, this is our first race for Racing Point. Very first race. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. For any racer, getting a point in your first race is not bad going. It doesn't matter what car you're in. Quite close to Butler. Casper now, Aiden. Good job. Casper's in P10 at the moment. Here we go. Goodbye, Butler. I'm guessing if we picked Alpha. The gap to the car ahead is 1.8 seconds. Ferrari would be the destination of choice instead of Red Bull or Mercedes. So maybe that's a good route to go in if you're a big Ferrari fan. There's the target. There's the objective. Oh. What, what the? Australian Grand Prix this has been. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Certainly is crafty, and these two have been fighting each other incredibly hard so far. They don't want to go tripping over each other though, because Devon Butler is coming up from behind. He's on the attack too. Aiden Casper's not your priority. We need you to defend. It's okay. I've got this. Here comes Butler. Three abreast going into turn 11 on this car one, and he's no! Ackerman's off onto oh, no! the verge of what looks like damage as well. Is he okay? It's Casper okay? He'll be fine. He's heading for the pits now. You just concentrate on the race. Oh. And there we have it. Some Engineer sounds angry. In the racing point garage this oh, evening. no. There will be Crofty for sure. Look, it was a late move from Devon Butler, but you never want to see two teammates make contact. And Ackerman will surely be seething at that one. Absolutely. And I'll tell you who else isn't going to be happy too. Oh, he's going to be fuming. Not how his F1 race debut should have gone. Oh, shoot. That was not good. That was not good at all. The damage appears to be minor. How's it feeling, Aiden? Yeah, car's okay. Understood. See how well you can do out there. Teammates in the pit. Copy. Yeah, go figure. Yeah, car looks uh, completely fine. That's good. We took no damage, but that is the worst nightmare for a driver in his first F1 race to take out your teammate. And we're now both out of the point. This is horrific. Oh, I did not see that coming. We caught him up. I was getting ready to do the overtake. Make it as clean as possible. He's going to be absolutely fuming after the race. This is Netflix. <laughs> oh, it definitely is Netflix. Drive to survive. Well, I need to overtake Butler again. Of course he had to be involved. I'm going to have to watch it back, honestly, and see see whose fault it actually was. I think Casper was pretty innocent. Honestly. That would, that's not a great sort of overtaking spot, to be honest. It's not where I would have probably done it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. Very interesting indeed. At least I'll pop in some good laps here. Try and get some points for the team. Our gap behind is 8.3 seconds. Okay, so we're pretty safe in this position. Just need to start taking maybe a few more risks. Car feels really good though, actually. I have a fair amount of confidence in it. Tires still feel pretty good. You can definitely push. Whoa, I spoke too early. Oh, that was scary. Yeah, you do not want to hit grass in an F1 car, in case you guys are curious. It's pure slick tyres. A car is so reliant on downforce and grip. It's just, it's a bad scenario. You do not want to touch the grass. Can we catch Butler here? He's driving pretty well. Seems fairly comfortable. Yep, 
Yeah, first impressions. I'm loving it. I am. I'm hooked already. Definitely hooked. Definitely hooked. Right, we should be in DRS range now. Overtake mode. Engaged. Do we, have, do we not have DRS down here? Oh. Is that Lando Norris up next as well? Oh, no. Damn it. I was getting really close there. And I just lost a bunch of time. A couple of bad corners. Can happen. Let's go back on him. Oh. DRS zone, I believe. I heard the beep. We are closing that gap. Closing, closing, closing. This might be our chance. Come on. Do it. Just behind me, though. He might go for a lunge back. Okay, good work. Great pass. Now nope, we have DRS again. Ha <laughs> ha! No chance, Butler. See you later. Next up, Lando Norris. Another rookie for this season. In that beautiful orange McLaren. Beautiful. So we have the point back. Well, almost. Once we finish the race in this position. Can we get another point for the team? Ideally without taking out all the cones. Whoa! Almost had a tank slapper there. I need to concentrate. I need to concentrate. The race is not over yet. Next up, Lando Norris. Not a particularly great lap from myself. All red sectors, but seems to be There's enough. Four laps of fuel remaining. Oh, on the grass there again. Oh, two points. Next up, Alex Albon in the Red Bull. That Red Bull should be up in third, fourth place. Completely out of position. Okay, looks like Alex Albon has made the move. The guy in front of me now is Gasly. Hopefully, they continue to fight and don't push forward. And we can uh, slip in, have a little bit of fun. And gain some more points for the team. Fingers crossed. Two more laps to go. I think even with some good points, there's still going to be some uh, issues after this Grand Prix is done. A bit of drama, of course. Any, any sort of accident with your teammate is going to cause a whole world of pain. That's for sure. It really is. Is it me, or are we closing this gap? I think the gap's getting, yeah, it's getting smaller. There's three laps of fuel remaining. Got it. That gap is starting to look very, very small. Roughly a second on me. We can get ourselves into that DRS zone again. That'll be incredible. Yeah, so in this game, you now can't change the fuel mixture. Uh, basically representing the, the 2021 rules. There's no mixture in terms of fuel. It's just set to standard, it's locked in. And there's nothing you can do about it. It's kind of upsetting. There we go. Right, Gasly. Are we in DRS zone? Apparently not. This is oh, final lap. Really? Final lap of the race. Come on, 
Gasly. Still don't have the RS. Are you kidding me? Why? Damn, that car looks good though. Such a nice livery. Oh! Definitely losing a little bit of tyre performance. Every lap. I feel slower and slower. Come on! So badly won that place. Over the sausage curbs. I've got to run out of my ERS very soon. If I'm not careful. Oh, I touched the wall. Corner cut it a little bit. Lewis Hamilton has won the race. Yeah, my deployment has been used. So I'm out. I have no ERS available. Gasly. I think he got away with it. That was not my best lap. Oh, we are so close. Agonizingly close. No. Oh, one sec. Surely not. Did I get it? Yes, a place. Hey! All right, race over. Oh Take care of the car yes! On the way in. What a dramatic first race for Jackson! Incredible. We've witnessed some great Woo. battles on the streets of Melbourne today, and they've taken a fantastic win. What a start to the season this has been! A fascinating race here in Australia. At. The top teams as ever continue to push the boundaries of the sport, and it'll be interesting to see how the new racing point driver Aidan Jackson settles in especially after that early incident involving his teammate. Well, we've certainly seen rivalries born from less. Suffice to say, if you came into the 2020 season hoping for a bit of drama, it looks like you won't be disappointed. He looks angry. So after a magnificent oh. race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. The most predictable podium you can ever think of. It's, yeah, happens every weekend. <laughs> Either of those three in different, in different spots, basically. Funny. Right, here comes the drama. I'm predicting it now. Post-race. Oh, oh no. I see what's going to happen here. Casper. Listen, I don't know what happened out there. It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? Who was the idiot behind the wheel of your car, hmm? You're pathetic. You won't even admit when you made a mistake. I'm... How did they ever sign you? Oh, Butler. Ahem, um, Devon. I didn't see that. A smug smile. Well, like, out on the track today. Wow. You nearly took me out, mate. Look. I don't know what happened. You cut in, I swerved. Next thing I knew, Casper was out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mate, I was nothing to do with it. Whatever that was, that was all on you. Don't be trying to pass the blame, because you haven't sailed in yet. It's his first race. Give him a chance. Ah, uh, rough. Sorry, Aiden. Just bear with us one sec. No problem. I think that's really just the case of Mate, it was a good result. You got some solid points. Mistakes happen. You seem to find your feet quite quickly after you graduated from Formula 2. What advice would you give to Jackson in his first season? Well, stay out of my way mostly. <laughs> and uh, taking out your own teammate isn't something I would make a habit of. Almost ready, Aiden. We're just checking audio levels. Uh, sure. Seriously, Casper might be wondering what on earth Racing Point were thinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thanks, Devin. Yeah. So smug. So smug. Okay, Aiden. Let's talk about that incident with your teammate. Great. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. <laughs> oh no. Team tussle at racing point. No. It's in the. It's in the headlines as well. Focus on Lewis Hamilton. He done great. Some okay. new posts. If you didn't see that at following going up, my Twitter followers. Brian? Brian? Talk to me. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. 
Listen, what happened out there today? I had it all under control and then... Look, let's not go through all that now. We'll talk about it in the debrief. Right, yeah. I was actually talking about your little running with Casper and Butler over in the paddock. Oh, wow. News travels fast. The paddock talks, Aiden. Besides, I've got ears like a hawk. Listen, Butler's a clown. The man's ego is bigger than a... No, I've got nothing. Don't give it a second thought. Thanks, Brian. The Casper? <laughs> yes, yeah, so he can get a little hot-headed, especially after a race. But you have got to work with him. That manoeuvre today... Wasn't my fault, Brian. It probably cost us points. I'll level with you. A lot of people on the team are disappointed, Aiden. And I'll be saying as much to Casper. Now, learn from it and move on. But you can't let it happen again. I'll see you at the debrief. Oh, that is some serious pressure on a youngster. I mean, look, Into the Barrier, another YouTuber. Great. Where's Why did no one ask me? <laughs> I'm so jealous. No, I'm joking, it's fine. That is literally what someone on Twitter would say. Like, Jackson said it, I've got this. I'm going to get 10th place. I'm going to get the overtake done and then cue the swerve. That is literally Twitter in one tweet. So well done. Okay, great. Uh, what does the principal want? Um, great to see you bringing home some points in your maiden F1 race. That's quite an achievement. Congrats. Right. I'll be going through it all at the briefing. We obviously need to talk about the incident with Casper at turn 11. I understand that it's your first race and the nerves can get the best of you or anyone. But let's not forget that we're a team, right? He's got a point. Apparently got a photo shoot. Lovely. All right. I think we're done here. The man is under pressure already. Despite getting points in his very first race in F1, which is quite the achievement, he's under pressure. We cannot let that happen again. We cannot crash. One month later, Chapter 2, we are going to the Chinese Grand Prix. It's the Chinese Grand Prix here in Shanghai, and this track fast becoming a rookie's favourite. Alex Albon, remember him from last year? A brilliant race in his debut season, and it looks like Aidan Jackson's continuing the trend. He really is, Crofty. He's showing great promise so far this season. Well, here's Ackerman now going up behind his young teammates. Well, the rumour in the paddock, Crofty, is that the tension's building between these two. Let's see what happens here. Here we go. Ackerman's going for it. Down the inside of the hairpin. He's Ooh. pushed his teammate off the track. What are you doing? Casper, what the hell? Looks like Jackson's really struggling to get over that. OK, Aiden, keep it focused. Concentrate. That brush with his teammate clearly affecting the young driver. It looks like it has, Crofty. I can't see any significant damage to that car, so he's going to have to pull himself back into this race. The gap behind us is 3.0 seconds. The car's looking OK, Aiden. See if he can recover a few places. What was that all about? You can recover, Aiden. Oh, can I? Okay. That's really not okay. I agree, that was a joke. Absolute lunge and a half. Just took me out. Absolutely took me out. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Absolute joke. So that's six more laps to go. Alright. Making the move. Ooh. Oh, I've overcooked it. Oh no! It's alright, we left him space. Nice Fine. move. Good job. He's still there. No, Lando! You're just a streamer! Go away! <laughs> I can't be saying that! No, no, no! Okay, gap ahead is 2.8. <laughs> no, Lando Norris is in, is, is in great form right now. That was just a bit of um, terrible banter, can I say? Make up some places. Let's try and get ourselves back in the points again. After our teammate took me out. Australia was a complete accident. Complete accident. A racing incident. And that was just a pure lunge. Out of nowhere. Anger. Absolute anger. Shocking. Next up, though, we have Ocon. Ooh. Hopefully. Unless I crash. Some really good laps, though, to try and get 10th. 10th is going to be a 
I'm not racing particularly that well right now. I need to focus. I'm, I'm, I'm currently clouded in anger. Not go off road in an F1 car. Doesn't work. I'm trying to save all my overtake for this 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 long long straight. Endless long straight. Seems to be working. Closing the gaps, Ocon. This time I actually made the corner. <laughs> Lovely. Look how good that Renault looks. Oh, when you get close. This game is crisp. bit early though. We are now in DRS zone. A bit hard to overtake on this first corner though. Give it a go though. Oh, up inside. Surprise! Good overtake. Beautiful. We are now 12th place. There's five laps of fuel remaining. Got it. Oh, it's Ackerman next. He's next. He's not even in the points. He's hooked me up. An absolute joker. Here we've closed the gap right up. He's going to be fuming. Oh, that's Russell next. In 20th. Ah. Blue flag, get the guy out of the way. Ackerman is in 10th. Okay, I read that completely wrong. Sorry, I am racing at the same time. This is the live commentary right now. <laughs> As I'm sure you guys can probably tell. All live! Thank you, Russell. Leaving me plenty of space. Can't be really asked for more than that, can you? Honestly. Oh, Magnuson as well. Yeah, we're definitely hitting a bit of traffic. Thank you. Didn't slow us down too much. Hoping the next lap, or this we're lap, sorry. By we have, we will have the RS. Okay, yeah. The gap behind is 3.1 seconds. To set a purple last sector. Impressive in this car. I'm, an, I'm a man on a mission right now. Absolute mission. Fast too early. I miss science at McLaren. The science and Lando Norris romance was uh, was real. I do miss those two. Oh, what was I doing there? I'm not kind of taking him there, Scott. Should have followed. But I didn't. I had a little. I, put, I tried to poke my nose in for some random reason, even though it was never going to work. We definitely have the faster engine. He's still got the uh, the Renault, so fingers crossed. Should fly straight past. Lovely. Oh, look who it is. Ackerman. I swear the guy looks like he's 55 or something in the cutscenes. He looks old. I'm going to try and retire him. <laughs> that, that's my goal in Breaking Point. Retire him. That's my goal right now. I don't know if you had the arrest. I didn't realise. I was talking too much. Oh, that is close. So tempted to give him like a little love tap. I won't. I won't. I'm gonna be professional. He's my teammate. Same oh, colours. Three laps of fuel remaining. Plenty of time to do this overtake. It's fine. Oh, just lost the back end there. We may have briefly tapped. Just a little love tap. It's fine. It's all good. He is slowing us down right now. Where's the team orders? Get this man out of my way. You can see I'm so close to him. 
There's, there's, just get him out of my way. We're losing time. Oh, did you see that? Oh, beautiful. He's, he's going to hate that. Beautiful. And I've got DRS. Oh, that was insane. Next up, Albon again. I didn't manage to catch you in Australia, but today you're a little bit closer, and I got a few more laps. Okay, you're in the top ten. Try it again. Oh, that's Butler again. Look. Butler in P8. He's doing all right, isn't he? He's having a good season. You definitely cannot argue against that. Yes, Alvin is is no more, but he's right up my ass. Not done yet. Green sector one. I do find China, particularly the middle sector, really tough when your tyres start to give up it's um yeah it's definitely uh you want the grip for sure and once it starts to disappear you've really got to slow down <laughs> gotta take it easy yeah, any chance to to beat devon butler i am all for Ferrari engines quick. Good, good job, nice overtake. Next up, Kvyat. Oh. One more lap. There's right? only yeah. one lap of fuel remaining. This is your final lap. Final lap good of the lap, race. Good lap. Good lap. Done well. Oh. This first corner gives me a lot of anxiety. <laughs> it feels like it goes on forever. You feel like time is just slowing down. You're just sort of waiting to press that gas pedal straight down. Not a great first sector. Oh, sorry. Got a warning. Yeah, let me know if you guys want me to do maybe like a, an optional episode where things go a bit wrong. <laughs> so maybe you don't meet your objectives. Are oh, the cutscenes a little bit different? Stuff like that does really intrigue me. Um, so I'll be down for that. You can have multiple safe slots, so. I think we might have him here. Oh, oh I've got a road. Gee! Heart attack moment. He's just there. I got DRS though. Valtteri Bottas has won the Grand Prix. That's how this is a game. Joking. Joking. Seventh place. Next up would be better in a Ferrari. It's madness. Good race. Very good race. Yes! Come on! That's the end of the race. We'll see you in part firm. What a result. Oh. Well, plenty to digest there and a little bit ominous seeing the two Racing Point teammates make contact again. Things don't look stable between these two drivers, Crofty. They've barely been teammates five minutes. That wheel bump, could that have been avoided, Ant? Yeah, it looked like Ackerman was making a bit of a statement to me. He's certainly not given Jackson any room. A sign of things to come? Well, for their sakes, let's hope not. That wraps things up here in China. Until next time. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. I don't know about you guys, but I just don't want to see the podium. I just wanted to skip forward to the drama. 
I just want to see the drama unfold. Another team accident again during the race. Shocking stuff that needs to be sorted out. Post race chapter two. I think we might be coming towards the end of what I can actually show you guys. So if the video cuts off randomly, um, I apologize. But yeah, uh, if you guys want me to do more, you have to wait till the game comes out. I can definitely post the part two. Um, yeah, when, when the game launches. Awkward. Casper. What the hell was that? You nearly put me out the entire race. Bumping wheels like that, you could have put us both into the barrier. Casper. Come on, man. You... I have to make a phone call. Casper. Ackerman! Mom, cancel the TV subscription. The entertainment is right here. Oh, come off it. Do you really have nothing better to do? Right now? No. <laughs> <laughs> and why would I want to miss this? You two, you two are like characters in a badly written sitcom. He wanted you a lot to sign Ricardo, you know. Ask anyone. What do you mean? The paddock talks, mate. And so did Ackman. Should have heard him last season. He didn't care who he talked to, and he was always going off and on about you. He tried to stop them from signing you. He didn't want to play babysitter. Oh, he did, did he? Everyone knows. Uh, have you not seen the way that people look at you? We all feel sorry for you, mate. You never stood a chance with him. You want my advice? Prove him wrong! <laughs> Chin up! And that is all I can show you. No! That very last bit of dialogue is literally, do not show more than that. Oh, I want to play more. I guess I can play more and I can record it in advance. So I guess that's not too bad. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this video. Let me know with the like button, with the comments. Should we do a part two around the game launch? Let me know indeed. Um, let's go through some of the posts actually while we're here. Oh, we've got a phone call. I think I can show this. <laughs> Hopefully. Hey, Ma. Hello, love. I saw the race and thought I'd give you a call. And why is that? Just to say well done, like I always do. Oh, right. I saw what happened in the race with Casper. Can't believe he wasn't penalized. Are you okay? I'm fine. And Casper, what's he said about it? Nothing. He wouldn't speak to me. Well, maybe keep trying. It can't hurt to clear the air. Just remember what your grandmother always used to say. The fights that can't be won are the fights you fight the hardest. I'm not even sure that makes sense. Just whatever's going on, don't let it get to you. And call me later, okay? <laughs> Will do. I think Jack makes a good point here. They're acting like children. Particularly Casper, who looks like an older gentleman. Um, and he's just like, just looking away. It's like, what is this? Primary school? Look at me. Man to man. Let's have a conversation. Let's bash this out. I have a feeling, though, Ackerman and Jackson finally unite as drivers. And I have, I'm going to have it a guess and predict Devon Butler will become the main enemy in this game, in this, in this series. I 100% guarantee it. Um, that's that's my prediction. Uh, Otmar, to everyone on the team, what many of you have been aware of for some time has now been released to the press. Oh, he's announcing the um, the name change. Okay, so it's going from Racing Point to Aston Martin. So we will be racing in the green next year if if we get yeah if we get a contract. <laughs> Good point. Good point indeed. Uh, just a couple of things I like to fire over. The restaurant confirmed for tonight. I've arranged a car to pick up. It's your mum's birthday next week. Okay, good to know. Colin Perry keeps contacting me. 
to see if you could do an interview trackside. I know you're not too keen. Maybe we can do it at some point. Maybe there's going to be like a, a drama interview at some point in the series. One on one, we hash it out. Give them the, give them the update. Give them, give them the goods about Ackerman, Ackerman potentially. Yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Really fun opening. Cannot wait to play more. And I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.